The firefighters completed intense drills today in Adams through what's called flashover identification training. 7 News reporter John Pierceau shows us inside one of the exercises they went through where temperatures reached triple digits. Okay, close the door. On the inside, it looks like an out-of-control house fire. But this is a controlled environment inside of a steel box. It's called a flashover simulator, a common yet intense training exercise for firefighters. How it works? Each firefighter puts on full protective gear, then gets it checked before heading into the lower section of the steel box. When he shuts that door, what's going to happen to the fire that's right here, rolling over? It's going to go right back, right? Then a fire is set in the upper section of the box, which is covered in plywood, and the doors are closed. Firefighters are challenged to stay in the lower section of the box for 20 to 30 minutes, but can leave if necessary. Here in the lower section where the students are, temperatures are only 200 to 300 degrees, but here in the upper section where the fire is actually burning, temperatures can reach upwards of 1,500 degrees. Like many instructors and firefighters here, he says this is what could happen in a worst-case scenario. Open up 
You need to get that oxygen it needs. And now it's coming right at you. Right over your fucking head. At this point, you've got to be prepared to make a move. You've got to cool that thermal collar. You've got to put a door between you and that nasty horse shit. Or you got to reach down, lace up your sneakers, and get the fuck out. Okay, close her up, Ed. Notice it's taking a little bit longer each time to make that thing recede again. 